Hey, this your boy King Ed the Great coming at y'all with another video and continuing to make my trend of posting overlooked albums. The most overlooked album of the week goes to Daz Dillinger, Revenge, Retaliation, and Get Back. This was around the time where everybody was gone from death row at this point. Snoop was gone, Dre was gone, Pac was dead, Suge was locked up, Reggie Wright was probably running death row at this point in time. So the only ones that was really there was Daz, Nate Dogg, Corrupt, and the do you know the remainders of the Dog Pound. So Daz basically took over as the in-house producer for Death Row. You can hear him on the Gridlock soundtrack. You can hear it on the Lady of Rage joint. You can hear it on the gang-related soundtrack. He basically took over as the in-house producer. So, with his debut album, I was anticipating it firstly myself. When I used to see those ads in the source, I seen he had Too Short on there. I seen he had an unreleased song with Tupac and the Outlaws, MC8, LBC Crew, Snoop. I knew this joint was going to be a banger. So if you look at the intro, the intro, it was like he was going to try to bring Death Row into a new era. It was similar to the Chronic intro. When he talked about, we're going to take you back into some gangster-ish. What to really know about what we call gangster rap. That was like the intro to the new era. So, my favorite song up there, no question, is it initiated with Tupac and the Outlaws. All them guys snapped on that track, yo. Corrupt, he started it off. And anybody that say that Tupac is a the lyricist need to listen to this track here. The Outlaws was killing it. Even EDI Me had one of the best verses I ever heard him spit on that joint. Then you had It Might Sound Crazy with Too Short. My other favorite joint up there was Play A Pot and It Was Be A Legit. That's a smooth joint. Another favorite that I had on Revenge Retaliation and Get Back was Our Daily Bread. He, he probably reused the beat from do what I feel from the dog food album and he retweaked it a little bit but revenge retaliation and get back has some great joints up there riding high with WC oh no with Trey D man if you listen to that joint oh no it had that wild wild west feel to it that joint was crazy this joint overall show that Daz is capable of being one of the best producers out there. And it's sad that the album didn't really get the look that it got because Death Row at that time was on the deck line. Suge was locked up. Pac was um, dead. Snoop was gone. All the heavy hitters was gone. But this album was tough though. Daz showed that he could hold his own. He ain't just them little pup under Warren G and Dre. He can really produce a dope album. So, Revenge, Retaliation, and Get Back. Definitely get that album if you could. It's dope. So, subscribe and hit that like button. Holla at your boy.